my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. I'm a professional tarot, astrologer, and intuitive. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about the week ahead. In this case, it is starting for October 19th, 2020. However, there is a pick a card message included in this reading. And if you find this reading at the time that is that you're finding it, it is good, it is right, and it is for you. I'll keep all of the timestamps down below in the description box. I'll also pin them in the comments just in case you want to skip ahead from the astrological prediction that I'm seeing for this week and zip right over to the pick a card options and the messages that are there for you. Or if you want to start off with that, that's totally fine with you, whatever floats your boat. Before I even dive into the week ahead, the astrological predictions, and even the pick a card reading, I really want to share with you guys really quickly something that I've been working on secretly behind the scenes for over a year now, and it's the Hansa Protection Charms. One of my good friends from Philadelphia and I, I love her, I respect her, we decided to link up and join forces in order to create charms that I can bless, that I can share with you guys to help protect those who wear it. Protection is the biggest thing for me right now, something that has really stood out to me. And why this charm and why this necklace is so important and meaningful to me is because it features the Hamsa, which is the hand of God. What this does is not only does it bless you, the wearer, and the entirety of your life, but it also invites in blessings and gifts and allows you to be open to receive it. Meanwhile that you're receiving it, meanwhile you know the universe or God or the divine is pouring blessings into your life, it's also protecting you from evil. If you look into the charm, and hopefully I'll be able to show a close-up video of it, on one side of the charm is a camel and the other side is a fish. This, this to me really stood out to me because the camel can go through all adversities. No matter how long the journey, no matter how far they've come, no matter how far they're going, they are known for their resilience despite being in the most barren and extreme of circum circumstances and climate. That's what really stands out to me about the camel. It's not one of my spirit animals personally, but when I wear it and when I think about the camel, it empowers me to, to be proactive to um, be resourceful, to connect with my connection, to connect with my connection to God, my relationship with the divine, in order to help me to move my way and maneuver my way through even the worst of circumstances, if that was to ever occur. The fish is something that makes me smile, makes me laugh, because my family on my mother's side is from the islands, the islands of Jamaica, and the fish is a totem that we have always seen and we've always talked about in my family for, for years, like all of my life, and I'm sure all of their life, but if you see the fish, it's a sign of fertility, it's a sign of abundance, and when the fish shows up, it, it especially in women's dreams, because it's connected to our intuition, especially women and feminine energy, it represents the fact that someone is pregnant, someone is creative, something is about to be born into their life. So that to me was so symbolic, the fact that I was able to contribute not only the fish symbolism of abundance and blessing and going with the flow and working with feminine energy, but also the fact that all it, all that we need, all that we um, all the protection that we would ever need and the direction that is that we are needing is, is you know, featured and hanging around our neck. Meanwhile, we're being protected by the divine. The other thing that we added to this necklace, to this charm, is the rose quartz. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this from the last um, Bahati Life launch that, it is that we did, but that we were working on. Well, we featured the moonstone and we also featured crystal quartz. Rose quartz to me this time around was so necessary. Rose quartz is connected to self-love, it's connected to attraction, it's connected to compassion and kindness. This is something that I wanted to embody around my life and my energy as I'm moving, as I'm breathing, as I'm living, as I'm magnifying, magnetizing, and also attracting ab abundance and blessings and all those things that it is that I'm setting intention for in my life. I don't want to set intention for things that would be um, you know draining towards my energy over time and that's where this space of protection was really striking out to me and this is why I was so happy to be able to bring the jewelry line and the charmed line into the forefront and a project that is that I could share with you guys all of the links for the charms will be down below there are they are going to be limited 
we're shipping them out as quickly as we can I've already announced some of it on my personal Instagram so there are a few that scoop them up but for the most part all the links for the charms will be down below for those of you guys that do ask it is an 18 karat gold that is over the sterling silver and the rose quartz is 100% pure rose quartz cut in the form of a crescent moon that again connects back to that feminine energy I've charged them each individually myself and also if you when you guys order yours or when they come delivered to you 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 can definitely feel free to put them even additionally under the the light of a full moon that's what I would do for me personally because I vibrate the most with the full moon but it just adds that extra touch of magic to the charm magic to your life magic to your intention again all the links are down below thank you so much for hearing me out as I was talking about that but again it was something that I was so excited to share with you guys and um yeah, I hope that for those of you guys that are called to it, that it's there for you. Um, and if you don't know, I also, one of my first tattoos and the first symbol that I ever was attracted to and that I ever put on my body was actually the Hamsa. So again, it just really, it, it goes, it hits so deep for me. So I was really excited about this project in particular. But again, I'll put all the links down below so you can go, go ahead and check it out. Now, let's talk about the astrological predictions for this week and then again, the timestamps for the Pick a Card um, messages if that's what you're here for okay honey babies let's talk about the week ahead now at the time of me filming this this is October 19th and I believe this reading that is I'm pulling for you guys is going to cover you from now until October 25th I hope I said October 19th so October 19th through October 25th this is one of those weeks again that it presents its own challenges as it as it tends to do, especially in 2020. We have a lot of planets right now that are just moving and shaking and adjusting themselves. And it can create a lot of discomfort, a lot of chaos, a lot of, I don't wanna say dysfunction, but things kind of rubbing against rubbing against um, themselves, the planets are essentially are rubbing against themselves and creating a little bit of friction. Basically what this does is it pushes you into a position where you might be uncomfortable or you might be so agitated or so inspired simply because you can't ignore it anymore, you can't pretend like it doesn't exist anymore, that you actually take that first step or something someone else does or something else does take that first step for you so that you are forced to be at the right place at the right time in order for there to be you know, the change that is needed to occur in order for there to be the change that has been needing to happen for quite some time. Mercury is retrograde, right? But also Mercury is retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. Not only that, we have Chiron retrograde sitting in the sign of Aries and, and Mars retrograde sitting in the sign of Aries as well. Mars, the planet of ambition and drive is and also our fight our willpower and the planet of war is squaring off with jupiter pluto and saturn jupiter pluto and saturn i'll explain all this in a second i, I know for some of you guys you get a little um concerned and confused i totally understand i do my best to break it down for you guys in a way that's digestible for everyone but Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn were the main power planets that were creating the most potent change for all of 2020. Now that these planets are direct, I'm going to continue to um, talk about them. Not because they were once retrograde and just recently direct, but they're still building their energy and the things that they are addressing and focusing their attention on right now are budding into long-term investments, long-term future plans, those types of things. So why am I saying this? Well, because some of the most major challenges and frustrations that you guys have been dealing with, some things that you've been broken, that have been broken down, the major lessons that is that you've been forced to learn, or the things that it is that you are, because of the um, position of the planets, you are just so hyper-focused on it. Maybe it's not so much these external lessons that have been occurring, but you just feeling like, I want to change things up. I want to switch things up. I have this innate, strong feeling in my intuition that now is the time. Some of you guys, it's in your friendships, it's in your relationships, it's in your connections. It's not just intimate romantic relationships. It's relationships with people or your relationship with yourself. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be anything. But you're really calling into question their loyalty 
you're calling into question compassion. Some things have really been energetically draining towards you. Some things that you were normally accustomed to that were a family to you or that you originated from now are toxic and draining to your energy. You feel exhausted at the even at the very thought of it. These are things that are definitely connected to the Jupiter, Pluto, um, Saturn moving through Capricorn once retrograde, now direct. And as, as Mars is retrograde, as Chiron is retrograde, as Mercury is retrograde, all of these planets are very fiery. They're very emotional. They're very lit up. Like it, we have fire and we have emotion here. And then we also have the solid ground underneath us. I don't want to say crumbling, but slowly getting built up, but not for no reason. It's always with intention. Maybe it's not necessarily your specific intention. However, you really want to be open to how the divine has been speaking to you, how your angels and your guides have been speaking to you, this divine intervention, these messages that have been trickling into your subconscious and eventually your consciousness. So what you are subconsciously um, aware of that you become consciously aware of, if that makes any sense. Why? Because the, you know, as we're having this uni this breakdown, you are also simultaneously getting inspired by the greater good, by the divine, by God. Call it whoever it is that you will. But we're all under the same influence of the planets, and the planets are moving with divine timing. And when you stay open, and this is something that I've been saying to you guys for a long time, that don't try and force your will. Don't try and force your way because right now, the way that the planets are set up and the way the divine timing is set up, it's that everything is breaking down. Everything was breaking down in order for there to be a breakthrough. And what spirit was doing and what the divine was doing was opening up your mind, opening up your third eye for you to receive divine intervention, divine messages. If you are really open to receiving that, you were getting insight, you were getting clarity, you were getting inspiration. But if you are still fighting it and still forcing it and still struggling with certain things or still trying to hold on to the old status quo, you will almost end up finding yourself exhausted. One of the major things that I've been saying on my YouTube channel and in the predictions for 2020 is to stay very flexible as much as possible. If you stay flexible and if you're working with it and if you allow what is breaking down to just kind of break down, if you allow yourself to be open and you do your best to move from a space of faith over fear, you will be the one to prevail the, the hardest, meaning like the best. You will have the biggest blessing, you will have the biggest gifts, you will have the biggest level of peace, etc., etc. However, again, if you are locked up into your own, your own original state of being, like your own ego, really what is that we're experiencing right now is the death of the ego and you are being reborn. It is a very painful process, but it's so necessary, not only for your evolution, but for all of our evolution. Some of you guys sometimes get overwhelmed by this, just what does this mean for me? Well, everyone is so different. Everyone's, everyone's story and everyone's tale and everyone's journey is so much uniquely their own. I can say that for me, and looking at my, um, my astrological chart, my natal chart and the transits, how this has shown up for me, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna use myself as an example, is to switch up how I was doing things, switch up my stubborn ways of believing like this is the only way that I could do this, this is the only way that this can happen, this is the only way that I can feel or be successful. Em emphasis on the word feel successful. So I had to really let go of me being constantly available, of me being constantly pushing myself to the forefront in order for me to prioritize my peace. And in order for me to prioritize my gift, in order for me to prior, prioritize my spiritual self, my spiritual ritual, my spiritual routines, the rest of the world and even my own intention was to present it to the world and to share a lot of myself with the rest of the world. Meanwhile, Spirit was saying, you know what, you've been doing that. It has been successful for you. It has worked out for you. But I want you to be open to receiving different and I want you to be open to doing differently so that this can be taken to the next level so that you can feel different in a way that is for your highest and greatest good. It was in my highest and best interest to stay open and flexible with that no matter how difficult it was for me to listen to divine guidance and to listen to what my physical, emotional, spiritual, and um, mental bodies needed. Then I started seeing progress. Then I started feeling better. Then it was things started to come more in balance and things started to flow way more easy and effortless, right? So that's just an example that is I can use for myself, but 
and that I that of, of myself that I can share with you guys but really it's about being super open to the process being super open to the journey and not locking yourself into okay this is the only way that I can do it this is the only way that I can be successful this is the only way that I can meet someone this is the only place that I can go all of that is limited beliefs and remember we're in we were in the 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 middle of a very thick ego death meaning like the death of the old identity how we uh, defined ourselves how we moved what we believed ourselves to be and we're being reborn new again it could be a very painful process but it's so necessary for our highest and greatest evolution now back to the astrological planets this is another one of one of those weeks and um back to the astrological transits um you know we have this the word that's really standing out to me right now is cleansing and why this is why the word cleansing is so interesting to me because you know uh saturn is here pluto is here meanwhile the sun is squaring off with it those two planets this week pluto is actually the planet of transformation and, and cleansing and purging right so as um the sun is moving to the sign of libra and soon we'll move in to the sign of scorpio on, on the 22nd there is this, I've been saying this last week and the week before that, like, you know, space of spirit and divine timing speaking to you and telling you what is it that you are trying to harmonize with? What are you trying to link up with? What are you telling yourself? What are you telling others? At the same time, you guys, you, there is a really strong trigger, trigger alert that is happening. Why? Because Chiron is retrograde, Neptune is retrograde, Mars is retrograde, Mercury is retrograde. All of these planets are saying, listen, there are certain belief systems, certain ideas, or certain things that you're telling yourself or communicating with others that is not an accurate reflection of your true highest intention of your will or what divine grace wants to give into your life. There is really this space of um, superficiality that's coming through in the chart, and that's what spirit is working to cleanse right now. Some of you guys might really be struggling to see it, but and that can be troublesome because if you can't see it, you can't fix it. But what it, what this means is that spirit is really trying to submerge you, and it's like the vision that I'm getting. This is really vivid. Is someone whose head keeps getting pushed underwater, and spirit is like. It's a metaphorical water, by the way, but spirit keeps pushing your head underwater and you keep fighting it up and pushing it up. But it's like literally if you surrender and if you got quiet for a minute, if you got still, you would be able to see it. It needs to be silent first because right now the moves that, it's, that, is that you've been making, how you've been speaking, how you've been presenting yourself or addressing yourself has not been authentic to you. Some of you guys, it's not what you have been telling others or what you've been doing. It's what you won't allow yourself to feel, what you won't allow yourself to switch up. It's like a, a, a record that is on repeat. It's the same things, the same verbiage, or your past issues from you know, trauma, like trauma from your childhood or trauma from past lives are re-emerging and are trying to address themselves. And you guys, for the sake of your own exhaustion or for the sake of your ego, keep saying, well, I have already moved past this, so I... You know, I'm in a different place in my life, a different phase, a different stage, but not if it keeps showing up. So if you were really harmonizing with your shadow and your light sides, then it wouldn't be so much of a trigger. You wouldn't be spending so much time running from it that that your fear and you trying to hop, skip, and jump away from this truth that's trying to reveal yourself or reveal itself to you, it's really mapping out and calling the shots on your steps it's calling the stop this um calling the shots on your future it's calling the shots on your blessing instead of you coming from this deeper root, rooted space of peace contentment and groundation you really need to ground yourself in your wisdom ground yourself in your power ground yourself in the divine's love to ground yourself in your peace I, I really am getting a sense that some of you guys, you would be surprised who it comes from or what aspects of yourself it would come from. There's this heightened energy of surprise. Some of you guys are putting on this front, everything is okay, I'm strong, this doesn't bother me, when in reality, you trying to run away from it or you trying to put on this front that you are unbothered is really, again, painting your reality, creating your reality um, and your experience 
Meanwhile, what are you doing it for? For the sake of your ego? For the sake of what others would think? For the sake of what? What is it? I hope this message resonates, you guys. Let me know down in the comments. You know, sometimes I go off um, as far as what it is I'm seeing within the chart and what it is I'm intuitively picking up on. Yeah, these six of cups, you guys. These are some issues from the past that really might be addressing themselves and re revealing themselves. So that's what it is I'm saying. I literally said that. But again, I can really go off and it, I would love to hear the confirmation if this message does resonate. You don't have to give the details if you don't want to, but if you could put a heart or be like, yes, Jess, it resonates, that's all you need to say. But sometimes it does feel good for me as an intuitive and as a reader to hear that confirmation. Then we also have the High Priestess, which just jumped out. And again, she's known for working with her, um, her intuition. She's known for seeking to understand the secrets, the darkness, the shadow side. And my eyes, as I looked at the High Priestess, I was naturally drawn to the Neptune, Neptune retrograde in Pisces. So again, this is about Pisces, Piscean energy, right? So whether you're a Pisces or whether you're, and then also we have the Magician card. Do you see how these cards are speaking right now? Whether you're, no matter what your sun rising um, moon is, your Mercury, it doesn't matter. There's this heightened space of pay attention to the Piscean energy. It's, it's not presenting facts. It's presenting a fallacy, an illusion. The High Priestess doesn't try to change that. She just understands that what it is that she is seeing and what it, and she's telling you that what it is that you're seeing is a veil. You're seeing it through a lens. What lens is that? Maybe don't believe first initial impressions. All you need right now is your intuition. All you need to do is listen to your feelings. You don't need to understand what the information is. You just need to heed its advice and realize and hear it when it tells you that something here is not right or something within you is a little off balance. You know, take attention to detail with it and do the things that it is that you need to do in order to feel in, in harmony again, in alignment, healthy, clear, focus and grounded okay that's what is real that's where your power is truly going to come from not by you presenting this image through the adversity like that i don't know why that's what just came through but that's really what's coming through for me right now the other thing that is standing out to me is again this pump pump the brakes you guys there's some goals that it's not that they're not going to manifest it's not that they can't manifest i just see you running really really fast and trying to catch up with your own self and try to catch up with these goals so it can be very overwhelming and it also could be very dangerous so there's this space of spirit telling every single one of us to slow it down to take a break to pull off on the side of the road if it's safe you know what i mean and it you taking that that reroute or you taking that detour is actually for your highest and greatest good. It's it's not going to slow down your progress and your success or where it is that this destination that is that you're ultimately headed towards. If anything, it's going to allow you to, you know, regroup. It's going to allow you to replenish so that you can even go even further. You know what I mean? So it, it kind of reminds me of someone on a road trip where they have to stop to get food. So just instead of you trying to be like, oh, I'm not hungry. No, I don't have to go to the bathroom or no, I'm not thirsty. I'm going to keep going. And then later on, you know, you're <laughs> in a weird spot or you're stuck, whatever it is, you're stuck in traffic. Now you're worse off. Um, you just reroute and listen to your needs. What are your needs telling you that you need that you need right now? Address them. It is absolutely spirit is giving you full permission to pull off and to reroute as needed. It is okay. On the 20th Mercury, the planet of communication, which is currently retrograde, is and moving through the sign of Scorpio, is going to be directly opposing Uranus, also retrograde in the sign of Taurus. Do not be surprised if you hear news information receive a contract or you know some type of written form of something a sp de emphasis on the word contract especially with saturn pluto and jupiter now direct in the sign of capricorn remember how i was saying the foundation of the past is being broken down in order for you to um you know build for long haul so this they could really be a contractual agreement something that you sign off on i'm really getting the idea of um marriage contractual agreements i'm getting um career you know i'm really seeing like big power moves big big contractual agreements um there is 
a space of caution but it's not as heavy as I would normally see it as I would normally feel it even especially even so with mercury retrograde I don't know why I just feel like I'm seeing yellow like a yellow light not a red light it's not fully green it's a yellow so I just want you guys to pay attention to the details I really want you guys to read the fine print if there are issues that you stand that stand out to you intuitively heed heed the advice of your intuition right now but don't completely cross it off don't completely say it's a loss or no there's a red flag here i really want you guys to put a pin in it this is b even big time for for my celebrity um, followers out here you guys you know there you are in the midst of things are really going to start picking up and if you play your cards right, you, the contractual agreement that is that you're looking over right now, that you're examining, that you're looking forward to the future, you know, really pay attention. Some There's something about um, obstacles, certain people or certain things that you wouldn't really want to say that you would want to work with. Consider it. Consider it. They're, I'm telling you guys, it's the red flags, what would originally be a red flag, and what I would tell my clients, or I would tell you, is a red flag, steer clear of it. Now, it's literally like the spirit, spirit and the astrology chart is saying, put a pin in it and revisit it. It's, it might not be a hard no. Be very aware of who and what you could be working with. And the thing is, is don't expect the result of it immediately. Think of it in a year, a year and a half from now, that's when you're gonna see the results. So if that resonates for, for those of you guys that are doing those big, big um, high level contracts, uh, contracts and stuff like that, then just mark my words on that. Um, just, you know, keep it in the back of your mind. Uh, the other thing too is, you know, really stay open to, again, who you're partnering up with, um, what opportunities are, are flying in, really pay attention to them. What are you attracted to? Why are you attracted to them? Use a health, healthy level of discernment, but at the same time, it doesn't need to get crossed off. The other thing that I want you guys to be aware of too is try not to force your will. Do not move from a space of ego. Realize that everything is temporary, and if that's the case, do your best to capitalize on opportunities right now as best as you can and sort of just expecting the fact that the way that it's going to be is the way that it'll always be. Things are changing right now, and if you play your car cards right, they are going to change for the better and not for the worst. So I hope that message makes sense, you guys. Um, I'm going to put this up on Bahati Life blog just so that you can have access to it. And also save this video or share it so that you can revisit it as the week goes along. I'm going to go ahead and get the crystal set up for you guys so we can break it into the more specific messages. And I will link, like I said before, the timestamps down below in the description box and also in the comments. Until then, I will see you guys. If you're not interested in the Pick a Card reading, um, I want to invite you again to subscribe so that I can see you guys in the near future because there's plenty more videos where this came from. All right, I'm going to pick the crystals out and I will see you at your timestamp. All right, my loves. So if you chose the rose quartz crystal, this is your message. I do have some oracle cards here pulled for you, which I'm going to use them in conjunction with the messages that I'm seeing that I'm receiving from my tarot deck. And in this case, this week, I'm going to be working with the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck, which is one of my top 20 card decks lately. But I want to work with it today because... We are in October, we're nearing Halloween, I'm so excited about it. Okay, so first and first, we're seeing, okay, 10 of Pentacles, and also the Queen of Swords. The one thing that stood out to me just now with the Queen of Swords was the idea of her success, and then also 10 of Presence, 10 of Pentacles, represents you know lasting success um, that you've worked really, really hard to get to, and then also we have the Moon card here. As I'm looking at this, you guys, there's, for you this week, I really want you guys to focus on, um, oh, okay, this is interesting. It's reminding you or inviting you, which you may not want to do, to go back to your rock bottom moment, especially with the moon card. This is the point, you guys aren't going to want to do this. I'm definitely getting um, a big 
big vibe of hesitancy and no, 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 Jess, if you only knew what my rock bottom looked like, you wouldn't ask me to revisit it in my head. I've done everything in my power in order to move me away from that. Can't stop, won't stop, won't look back. The thing though is that with the Queen of Swords and with the Moon card and with this idea of revisiting rock bottom and the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles is the final, um, I don't know why, I just wanna keep like closing my eyes because I really wanna like re-envision it. But um, Ten of Pentacles is the very last of the uh, Pentacle suit. It represents all that it took for us to get to where we are now. All that it took in order for me to be where I am now. Every single one of those pentacles represents a moment, a mystery, a message that you had to live, that you had to go through in order to grow through to be who it is that you are. It all has its own value and it looks different depending on how you look at it. Um, everybody, some people could say, okay, this is that moment. It seems benign. It seems insignificant, but this is the moment that changed me. This, when this person said this thing, it may not have meant anything to them, but it meant the world to me. This is what changed my life. This is what broke my heart. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. This is when I knew that I couldn't go back. This is when I knew that I wasn't going to go back, that I needed to move forward. Everybody has this one thing. It could be a small symbol of something that you see, that you hear, that you feel. Spirit is inviting you this week in order to revisit your rock bottom moment. Something about that, there's something valuable there. There's something there that it's not even so much about you needing to heal it, although for some of you guys, you might actually need to heal it. Some of you guys just need to sit with it. You need to revisit it. You need to be there for it. Actually, you know what I'm just hearing, what it is that I'm feeling is that it's connected in some major way to your purpose, to your legacy. It's going to be the gifts that is that you give to other people, not only in your family and your friends, your more intimate circle, but also the legacy that you leave for the rest of the world. Other people need to be able to understand what it is that you have gone through so that you can help them to solve their, their problems, that you can help them solve, create a solution. Um, for themselves because you were the only one that they can relate to that they can come to I'm just hearing that they're the you're the one that they can be forward with They're They're the one that they can talk to you about it that they can address you on it um, I'm also seeing you being forward. I'm also hearing you talking about it with other people or maybe you need to talk it out period point-blank period um, Maybe it's not what happened. It's the fact that there are similarities to what you've experienced that other people can relate to that it's going to create. I just see you being able to problem solve. Um, I don't know why, but like critical thinking. So using your skill sets, your skill sets using your talents um, to draw similarities between what other people may be problem solving and figuring out and you being able to be like, yeah, you know what? I don't want to, I just hear people saying like, I don't want to make this about me, but this, when this is what I was going through or the, when they, we experienced this, we were able to do this. Going back to your rock bottom moment, especially right now, at the time of me filming this, it's Mercury retrograde, Neptune retrograde, Mars retrograde. There's so many things that are being like, go back, go back, go back. You're not, spirit is not telling you to relive it um, or repeat. It's saying, To see it again and now because you've gone wow now because you've come so far in your journey you're going to be able to see it from a different perspective a different lens to give you additional perspective and insight into things that you didn't even understand when you're in the moment wow Some of you guys are really in a spot in your life right now. This pile is reshuffling your priorities, reshuffling your life. There's so many aspects of yourself that are just getting moved around. And it's some of you guys are uncomfortable. You feel like I'm not successful. You know, I'm, I did something wrong. I made the wrong step. In reality, it's not that at all. You're actually at the right place at the right time. You're just restructuring. All right, we have Ten of Wands. We have the Sun card reversed. 
this when I just see this I hear I just heard she doesn't want to look at it or he or she doesn't want to look at it they don't want to see meanwhile spirit is like we're blinding them <laughs> yo your ancestors your guys they are forward they don't mess around they don't tread lightly they when they say something they say it clearly and there's a level of frustration when they find that you're refusing their message you're refusing their guidance they're like we've been blinding this person and they just refuse to see it's like I keep hearing like okay they keep calling it something other than what it is when they know what it is they just don't want to accept that it is what it is okay um four of cups reversed this is that I'm happy with this I'll accept what is being handed to me. I'll accept what is being given to me. In any other circumstance, it would have been a no. If my friends would have been given the same opportunity, I would tell them don't say yes to that. Or to re I would tell them to reject it. But yet, for some reason, for me, it's, it makes it okay. Spirit says, you actually have to see yourself. That's the only thing that can help you right now, is if you put yourself... In like what would you tell a friend what would you tell someone that you care about if if it is not okay for them it's not okay for you some of you guys are entertaining certain things that or you're obsessing or addressing things that have that don't concern you even if it's about you it's not about you it doesn't deserve your time it's not warranted of your energy is what it is that I'm hearing, which means like, why don't take on the burden of this. It's, it's, mm -mm. Queen of Wands is also reversed. There's this level of independence that some of you guys are uh, trying to escape from right now. But meanwhile, there's, I just heard the word bravado. There's a space of like, they're kind of putting on a bravado. Well, I think I did actually talk about this in the astrological chart reading about this ego and then we also have the ace of wands so spirit is really saying like to you look at this wand you know the candle there it's being burnt but it almost feels like it's being burnt out and meanwhile we have this cat that's behind that candle I don't know if you guys can see it but we have this cat that's behind the candle trying to protect the candle but I'm also hearing the cat crying out like it's a very ominous wow like it's a very like in the middle of the night so spirit and it's not that it's trying to trick you it's not trying to scare you or anything like that but it's saying can you be aware of what is burning you out right now especially with the not the ten of wands can you be aware and can you see what we are presenting to you as a warning can you address it and see it for what it is and and do in your power what you need to look at this ten of pentacles showed up for you guys a second time do in your power what is that you need to in order to draw this into completion in order for you to move forward in order for you to put the past behind you in order to let this relationship go um what i heard i also heard i'm hearing let it die out what this means for this group is that there's certain things like you might be in the midst of drama you might be in the midst of a lot of things getting uprooted spirit is really trying to remind you that it's temporary and if you let it die out if you let it phase out it will literally like the the winds of life the winds of the universe the water of the universe the rivers of the universe the tides of the universe will carry it out let it die out let it burn out it will go eight of wands this will be sooner rather than later and also it comes to i'm also seeing this connection to family about um family obligation you know kind of like I don't know why but I'm I'm seeing this you have a responsibility to your family Ooh, tower card so you have you might have to strike out you might have to have this disruption coming through ace of needles is here you might have this disruption coming through it's not ominous but it's something to be pre pre prepared for you might have this disruption coming through that says listen you have an, an obligation to your family or your family obligations are being called into question also i'm looking at the world card here and i don't know if you guys see this but there's all those trees and all those different options so spirit is really saying like if you sit with yourself 
what is the center of your world? You might have been making your priorities a little off kilter. You might have been choosing things that, or getting distracted by things that, um, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. You might have been like, well, it just seems so promising. <laughs> it always does. But over time, the Magician card. So I just feel like you guys are setting in, setting, um, you're really being called into your power right now, but it's tough. It's really tough to do that when you, you're letting certain obligations, you're either neglecting them or I'll, they're abusing their power. They're abusing their access to you. So yes. Ooh, look at this twin flame, higher power, spaciousness and contentment. So those are your oracle cards that jumped out for this group. Um, and again, this is what I'm saying is, especially with the spaciousness, spaciousness card and contentment, contentment to me really is bringing me back to what it was I was saying before, where your angels, this higher power, is really trying to communicate and showcase to you that there are certain things that you have or are accepting that you know, if it wouldn't be okay for other people, for other, your friends and people that you care about, or if you heard someone's, their story, what, what would you tell them? So this space of contentment says, we don't want you to really, even though this card really is about, you know, allowing yourself to settle. Um, we don't want you to settle in a space that is settled with people or things or circumstances, especially with twin flame energy here. We don't want you to settle in a space that is, spirit is clearly speaking to you and telling you like, you know, we want to kind of evolve this. I, I just feel like they're actively moving, like your angels and your guides are actively moving you to see something for what it is so that you don't become too comfortable in this because you're afraid of the unknown or because you're so accustomed to showing up for others in this way. There's this space of, um, like divine resignation, which means that you accept divine timing, divine message, divine movement in your life to put you, you know, to wipe out and to bring into your life exactly what is needed. And instead of you fighting and fighting and trying to force it and push it, that's actually where you're going to find the best manifestation, the best um, blessings and gift is not in your ability to create it through your willpower you keep showing up but through your intention and so shall it be so mote it be let it go let the higher power let your angels speak to you let them determine your steps let them tell you where to go or where not to go because they are trying to speak to you very clearly they're like we keep telling this person you know, this is what it is. And they're just like, mm, maybe not. No, 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 no. Especially with twin flame energy, what impacts one impacts the other. So you want to make sure that you're taking space away from things that maybe are pulling on you or, you know, tugging at you or lower vibrational right now. Switch your vibration up to a higher place. I don't know why, but I'm being reminded right now of what it was I said in the very origin, the origin of this video, the start of this video for you. Um, about this revisiting rock bottom, going back to your rock bottom, maybe see certain similarities between that. Um, because there's definitely like a perspective shift. There's an awareness shift. There's something that is that you're going to be able to see. The magician card is also ruled by Mercury. So there's certain information that is going to come through to you. That's going to make itself known to you. That is going to switch up the game for you. So I hope that message makes sense. You guys, um, what it is that I see you guys doing is really just kind of taking some space away from certain things again that don't need your energy right now and when you do that it's just going literally just give it like I'm, I'm getting this vibe of like eight days eight I think eight weeks would be too long um, but it could be but it's it's quick I just feel like or it could even be like eight hours just stop, you know, you don't need to be involved manipulating it trying to figure it out let the universe let the tides kind of carry it out Whatever it is that's bothering you, take your hands off of it. Let the cycle go. Let the waves flow. Um, and watch what happens. Give it space and just be where you're at. But don't be, don't settle in a space if it's something that is, you know, 
if there's like a lot of noise around you and you need quiet just pick yourself up and move yourself out of that space as best as you can but what basically what I'm seeing is with the idea of contentment it means that spirit is really trying to protect your energy right now because it feels like you're being burnt down and burnt out so you want to pick yourself up in a space that you can actually just be yourself stretch your wings relax a little bit give yourself the time that is that you need in order to lift your energy back up again in order to rebuild your light if i was looking at a candle right now your flame would be very very diminished it would be very very a weak candle flame what we want to do is make sure that, that candle flame is strong it's tall and it's not flickering around all over the place we want it to be strong we want it to be solid what do you have to do in order to make sure that that candle flame is stronger and if you guys are doing candle magic you're probably watching it a weak candle flame right now or if you're not it's because your twin flame your partner and your other half because that energy came through is stronger than you and you're almost pulling on them you're almost pulling on their energy or your twin flame friendship whatever it is you're pulling from that so your your flame needs to be just as strong as theirs all right, my loves, so I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna move on to pile number two. All right, my loves, for those of you guys that chose pile number two, this is your reading. I'm gonna put this here. You may not be able to see it, but it's there for you. I do have um, Oracle cards pulled for you just to work in conjunction with the message that I see for you through the tarot cards. Let's go ahead and see what is up. I don't know why I just heard this. I just heard it's draining. Interesting. I'm also hearing comparison. Th those are the words that are coming through, comparison. Ten of Cups, King of Potions, King of Cups. You guys, First and foremost, I don't know why, but the first thing that's standing out to me when I hear it's draining, I don't think, I don't actually see it in the way that I originally see draining, like something being emotionally draining, although that could definitely be a message for someone. I feel as though you guys are kind of filled up with a lot right now. Emotion. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Uh, it's just the way that this message came through just now, but... There's, I feel as though you guys are filled to the brim right now. And I feel that your message is releasing, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm getting like a bathtub. And if you fill the tub up too high, it's like if you were to get in it, it would spill over the sides. So it's no longer relaxing. You're almost kind of making a mess. So you want to unplug it and let some of it out. Then I'm also seeing um, this connection to, okay, let drain it so that, you know, and it goes back to the bathtub metaphor where the water is either too hot, too cold, but if you put more water in there, um, it would become too much. So you let out what is that you need to let out. You release what you need to release in order so that when you fill it up with the right temperature, you can actually enjoy your bathtub more. Some of you guys are like, well, why, not that you're second guessing yourself well why didn't I get it right the first shot it is what it is but I think that there is a certain level of frustration that I'm picking up from this group where it's like well now I have to wait a little longer or whatever the case is but the reality is is that some of you guys and when it what, what this metaphor is representing what it's showing me is that you guys are holding on to it could even be happy joy, it could be happy tears, it could be blessings, it could be love. And it just needs to be expressed, it needs to be shared. That's what that's what I actually feel when I heard the word draining is, and I can actually hear the tub. <laughs> but, and definitely even more so with the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups, the joy and the pleasure sometimes is in the sharing of it. The sharing of the blessing, the sharing of the abundance. So that's something that's coming through. Also, Justice card. Hmm. Right next to Ten of Cups again. The Justice card, too, is so interesting to me. It's something, a card that I've been studying for over a year now. Yes, I really dive deep into the tarot. Of course I do. I share what I'm learning, what I have learned with my students in the Sacred Circle Tarot School. So if you're interested in learning with me and with them, you can go ahead and ch check out the links below for that. But let's go ahead and see what's going on with you guys. 
I'm, I'm hearing the word uh, stabilizing, and I'm also hearing structure, but I'm also getting this vibe of like, this is how things fall apart. This is the way that the system was set up. This is how it's structured. I don't know why that's coming through, but it is. Okay, so we have Queen of, Pen Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups reversed, the Lover's card here. Knight of uh, Knight of Cups. So interesting, you guys. These are the first cards that are coming through, and both of the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups are reversed. It's showing me again that there's this space of too much of something. <sighs> interesting. It's I don't know why, but I am getting this sense of you guys, this whoever chose this pile, you are on the brink of okay, pause. Spirit is telling me remind it's like a reminder remind them of how abundant this universe is remind them that there are so many plenty of fish in the sea remind them of how many options are available it's endless it's limitless all of what can happen you can't even fathom what can happen for you you can't even imagine what can happen and i am getting this sense and this space of they have to, you guys have to release you have to kind of let it go, like let let some steam out, cry it out. It's not ha it's not just sadness, it's um, relief, it's joy, it's love. It's it almost reminds me of someone who is about to give birth to a baby, or is going to give birth to a baby, or just gave birth to a baby, or they just fell in love, they just got the job with their dreams, they're on vacation, and they're like, I don't know why I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I don't know why I'm so filled with immense gratitude you know I'm in a happy place right now why do I feel the need to cry you have to get it out like it's very human emotions and I feel as though you guys have to understand if you're not in this space right now you will be that the universe is so abundant and is constantly working to provide I actually feel like this Queen of Pentacles is the universe saying I've got more in store for you literally she's pulling a pie out of the oven she's got that sneaky cheeky look on her face and the universe is literally saying that there is more in store where this came from you thought this is as good as it can get and you have no idea there's more in store so if you are mourning something if you haven't emotionally released no matter if it's good good feelings quote unquote good feelings or bad feelings let it out definitely let it let it out the core of this you guys is the six of needles, the six of swords, where it's this, you know, spirit and the wheel of fortune reversed. There's this space of, it's like everything's kind of pent up. Um, and it's not that you've done anything wrong, it's just that sometimes we get so used to being like, oh, we release bad emotions, or we, re we release our anxiety, or we release all this stuff, that we don't think about how even positive emotions, happiness, gratitude can also be very burdensome on the heart and on your energy because you're just like, it can also be just as equally overwhelming. So that's what I'm getting from this group. Ten of Cups is showing up again reverse. Wheel of Fortune is right next to it, also reverse. And five, six, seven of Pentacles. So again, it's like, you know, I feel like there's this little bit of a blockage. I don't know if you guys can see that little bit of a blockage with the wheel of fortune card especially with the lovers card here it's trying to turn but it's with especially with the seven of pentacles it, sh it shows up and it says wait let's just you know I, I don't know if you have to talk about it with a friend or get it out in your journal or get some things off of your heart out of your mind um, out of your chest and that's when you're gonna start seeing seeing the wheel turn around and really what I feel <laughs> With the Wheel of Fortune, it's like if you put the gumball machine, it's like you've been cranking. You put a quarter in there and you've been cranking it and you've, you're waiting for the gumballs to come out. And you must have cranked this thing like 10, 15 times and the gumballs don't come out. And you're like, damn, like I know I have other quarters, like do I put another quarter in? And you might have. But then all of a sudden you crank it once you release, like there's a space of release and all the gumballs come out. That's the vision that I'm getting for this group. So not only were you hoping for the banana gumball, that was my favorite gumball by the way, but not only were you hoping for the banana gumball, then there's a point where you're like, well I'll take any gumball at this point because I put like $1.25 
into this gumball machine. I didn't even get one gumball out. Like, hopefully, maybe someone comes in and shakes it, and then you crank it two more times, and all of the gumballs come bursting out. So not only is it more than what it was that you were expecting, yeah, you got the yellow gumball, but you got all these other gumballs. Spirit is so interesting with the metaphors that it gives to you guys, but you are really called right now to remember, again, that the universe is so limitless, and even if you cranked it before, even if there was a blockage, even if there were certain things that were caught up and stuck, it doesn't mean that there isn't going to be a lot coming through. Even with the five, six of, six of wands here, this is the card of celebration, the card of, um, you know, acknowledgement, recognition, Six of six of uh, swords is right next to it. Also, eight of ace of wands reversed. So there's these cards that are coming through and saying to you, like, you're about to really hit the jackpot. Things are really going to start moving forward. But I feel like there is a bit of a release. Look at this, you guys. Queen of cups. So this has everything to do with your emotions. This has everything to do with your emotions. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight of swords. Interesting. Eight of Swords typically is connected to this idea of overthinking and stressing stressing it out. But I don't know if you guys can see this, but she has so many leaves using to stuff her, stuff her arms, stuff her body. And she's using her needle in order to put it all together. So I feel like some of you guys have really been trying, you know, to, to weave it all together. And Spirit is like, sometimes it's not just you. It's sometimes it's about the universe kind of being stuck. You know, you guys have been four, this is the um, second time the Four of Cups has shown up for people. So Four of Cups is showing up saying, you know, you might have been stagnant or you might be giving up. Or you might just be like, I don't know if I can take in anymore because I just have so much going on or so many, so many things that are making me happy. It's okay. I can't ignore the fact that the Lover's card is here. So I just feel like there's this higher level of receiving that you guys are entering into, this higher space of receiving. All right, so what is it that your cards are, okay. For you, we have calmness and we have the card of forgiveness. So again, it's this, this journey that is that you guys have gone up, gone up to up until this point. Wow, hardship. And as I'm looking at it, I'm seeing the rain, I'm seeing the water at the very top. It's this emotional relief. Oh my goodness, actually now I think about it, this card has drops, raindrops, and the forgiveness card also has raindrops. So I'm really seeing this space of releasing, emotional release, so that there can be a state of calmness. Again, I'm not getting just this sense of the, what was lost, sadness, or anything like that. It's literally all of the, all of the possibility of human emotion that is that we can feel good and bad. I keep putting it in air quotes because I don't feel like any emotion is good or bad. Look at this, you guys. Clear yourself. This is exactly what I'm saying, is that there's this cleansing, this emotional cleansing that needs to come through. Heal away addictions. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but she's pouring from the abalone shell into the bath water, into these waters. Look, law of attraction. She is also under water in this case in this case and what's the law of attraction you guys it's the energy that is that you put out there the the intention that is that you're putting out there lifting your vibration and realizing that this universe is abundant and that it will provide that was the one thing that as i said to you guys in the very beginning of this message is that spirit is telling you really clearly to remember how abundant this universe is and the fish i was saying that earlier is the card of actual abundance it's the card of blessing it's the card of fertility it's the card of creativity of children of pregnancy so you guys i just see this space of like needing to really kind of release the the sea turtle is here at the very bottom and that's the card of things being fract that's the animal of things being fractured and all things kind of coming together taking your time but also going with the flow and respecting divine timing, re respecting timing as a whole, and also look at this, time for a nap. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but I've said this before on my channel multiple times that when you set intention or when you heal yourself or when you cry, the best thing that you can do right afterwards is go to bed, to rest, to, to surrender. And that's when the universe really steps forward and, and starts to provide and put gumballs into your life while you're resting, while you're sleeping, it's always something else that comes in and shakes it up. But um, even as I'm seeing this card clear yourself, that's what I'm seeing is that there's this shaking 
of you know stuff going on around you to clear it up which will wheel of fortune uh, reverse make it upright again so that lit these things can really come through there's this blockage that's what the addiction was there are these blockages that were kind of holding things up this hardship and now that you've released it now that you're entering into the space of calmness um, that's when this abundance this overflow can happen right now so definitely be very aware of your energy right now be very aware of your vibes be very aware of things that are blocking up right now not only bad but also the good the emotional stuff that's been holding itself bottled up the universe is clearly saying that there is something major in store for you that there is more than what it is that you're currently expecting to stay open to it and i'm also hearing the word fruitful that means that if the tree has bared fruit before if it's created fruit before it can and will do it again but it's just a matter of timing and waiting for you know things to kind of open up and i don't know if this message is needed to be seen by someone in particular but this is a lover's card right now so this is twin flame soulmates or things that are definitely set in stone for you in this life that you need to be totally open to receiving and i feel like the time is now or in the in the weeks the near weeks to come i hope this message makes sense you guys if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i'll see you guys in my next one all right my loves so if you chose the citrine crystal i'm not sure if you guys can see this clearly but it is there this is your message Oh, this card wants to jump out. Damn! <laughs> Starting off strong, huh? Goodness. Interesting. Pause. We got to pause. Look at that. It's crazy because my phone was actually on Do Not Disturb. The fact that that call just came through is a miracle. It's, a mir it's miraculous. Um, I actually feel as though that's a sign. I want to sit with this group. I always want to sit with number threes. Those that choose number three, it always tends to be a little bit more on the heavier side. They tend to be my more... I don't want to say anything. Okay, you guys have a lot of cards coming out, so I want to sit with this. Okay, we have Queen of Wands. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, King of Swords, the Sun card, the Empress, the Emperor, and also we have chills. I have chills right now as I'm saying this. Spirit is trying to really connect with this group. I am hearing, um, it's very, actually as I'm saying it, it's very quick. It comes and it goes out. I feel like you guys really want to sit and ground yourself um, with the divine right now. I feel like you guys are undergoing rapid, rapid, rapid changes. Um, I feel as though this pile might feel like they are derailed. They might feel like they're taking steps back. In fact, they're actually being rocketed forward. They're just being like blasted through right now. That's how it is that I'm getting it. Right now, they're just not ready. They feel like they're not ready, but spirit is like, you're ready, you're ready, you're ready, right? It almost reminds me of a roller coaster, and I can't tell you guys how much I hate roller coasters. In fact, as I'm talking about it, I feel like I'm like, blah, 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 and I was not like that before. So this pile is just being rocketed straight forward. It feels intense. It feels like a lot. Um, spirit is not even apologizing for how fast you guys are moving right now. Some of you guys might actually be second guessing me and doubting me as I'm saying this because you're like, Jess, you know, things have been holed up or maybe you know exactly what I'm talking about, but it doesn't matter. And I'm also getting the space of uncomfortability. Um, something going on with this group feels like I'm missing it. I'm missing the boat. I've missed the mark or I'm not doing everything that I should be doing or I could be doing it this way. These are things that it's like this rocketing forward of energy that's coming from this group right here right now. Spirit is really talking about balance right now. Um, and it's also bringing in this heightened level of partnerships, connections, and relationships. As I'm seeing the idea of partnerships, relationships, and connections, I feel like you guys are looking at a partner or looking at something or someone else and comparing yourself to it and questioning your self-worth or being triggered by certain sacral chakra, root chakra type energy, feelings of powerlessness, feeling of self-worth, self-value. Self Those things are getting called in, um, called in connection. These past things keep, boop, boop, keep bumping out. Like... Like, 
this, you guys, this Jack in the Box. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Jack in the Box, but it's like, din, 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 and it just jumps out and you're like, ah! and it freaks you the hell out. And some of you guys are just not ready. And it's just these things keep popping, popping, popping. And you're just tr like, number one, I feel like there's a space of avoidance where you're avoiding kind of cranking it because you don't want it to jump out. And there's a side of you that's almost expecting it because it's giving me like PTSD vibes. It's a lot in the mind. It's a lot in the mind. King of Swords is showing up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but also the Three of Cups. So this is bringing me back to that energy again of I'm also I'm hearing work hard, play hard, but it doesn't need to be hard. <laughs> this pile, I would if we were doing a reading, I would I would charge you triple. I have to say it like I, I know I know I don't increase my prices I don't but this is a lot coming through for this pile and do not apologize pile number three do not apologize for the energy that you bring do not apologize for the space that is that you take up that was a joke that is that I just made but it's just you guys are so heightened you guys are next level there's so many layers to you there's also this aspect right now of shadow sides coming through and i don't know why you guys are like running and racing away from it Woo! can we just take a deep breath meanwhile it looks like there's people what i'm getting is there's people and there's places people and places and things that are like this person's doing fine. They're doing amazing. They're good. Or it's like these opinions of others, they don't matter, but somehow you're like, well, everyone thinks that I'm doing fine or everyone's saying that this, but I don't feel that way. Somehow the imp opinions of others or the perspective of others is something that you guys are prioritizing or holding in some level of value. And it's not, how do you feel? Some of you guys are like, why are you worried? And you're like, in your mind, you're like, I know, I know. But internally, you're like, what do you mean? Why am I worried? How could I not be worried? And you're trying to, I just heard, negate it. I feel as though this energy right now, and we have the three of swords here in the center. We have two of pentacles, page of swords here on the far left. It's not about going hard for this pile right now. It's about going soft. It's about, um, my battery's actually about to die. So it's really, and that to me is another signal. And I also had my phone on do not disturb and somehow that phone call came in. I had my phone on do not disturb that the phone calls never come in. It's about literally being completely off the radar. It's about going into a space of compassion. It's about no matter how fast life is moving forward, you still need softness. You need to take a break and you need time for yourself. That's what it's about. And somehow these things keep keep popping up and showing themselves and you're just like, I am on edge. You feel like you're derailed. Meanwhile, spirit is just rocketing you forward. Let me change my battery in my camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so... Back to pile number three, those that choose the citrine pile, change of plans, change of camera, totally cool. We're gonna stay open and we're working with it regardless. But before I got interrupted by my battery dying, that in itself is a message, I believe. Also, the fact that I kept my phone and I always keep my phone on do not disturb and somehow a message came through. That brings me right back to the vibe that it was that I was picking up for you guys initially with the two of pentacles. But what it really more than that is the jack in the box that's really standing out to me that I just keep seeing someone kind of flinching and flinching themselves as a trauma response. And meanwhile, I'm seeing spirit, the, the, the divine or your life circumstances just kind of rocketing you forward and just being like, well, you know, get ready or if, you know, you're ready or this is how things are moving this is how things are going and there's a part of you guys that really i'm getting a sense that really needs to take time not to go harder but to go softer which it was i was originally saying before to calm yourself to center yourself to pick up the pieces a little bit to emotionally fulfill yourself to take some time out it gives me very much um vacation vibes it gives me very much some of you guys will be like, okay, well, I'm going to take the day off from work. Honestly, it's more like a week, a long week, or a long weekend if you can do it. Or if you don't, if you don't want to take time off from work, which I totally understand, 
This is about minimizing the stress or the pressure. And I'm saying work because that's what usually distracts people and keeps them pretty um, focused and busy is this movement of their day to day. And most people work you know, five days out of the entirety of the week. So that's a big chunk of our lives. But if you can do your best to kind of minimize what is that you're taking on or how things are have access and available to you, if you can. The reason why is because it's I'm getting from this pile, there's this really strong need for balance. Um and I can't I'm I keep asking myself and asking the guides why the Emperor and why the Empress. Both of them are here. So I feel as though there's this part of me that wants to say that it has to do with definitely uh, learning how to work with the masculine and the feminine sides but there it's also highlighting how our stress and our burdens impact our relationships the quality of our relationships what those relationships look and feel like or you guys could actually be partnering up with someone that is there for family marriage longevity, happiness, joy, but because your defenses are so up right now, look, king of wands, be, and they're so charismatic, they're so engaging, they're so enticing, they're very magnet, they're magnetic to you, like you're really drawn to, to them, because you're so, your defenses are up, it's really hard for you to let love in to let abundance in, to, to believe once again, to try it once again, to give it another shot, to give it another fair shake. And I feel as though whatever this is, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. Sometimes people are like, well, Jess, it always feels like a relationship reading. It's because legit, every, we have a relationship with everything. We have a relationship with ourselves. We have a relationship with the world, our, the food that we eat, the, the place that, is that we live in. So that's why it always sounds like a relationship reading because what are you aligning with? What are you harmonizing with? And what does that relationship look like? So I'm just seeing like there's this like trauma response that is that I'm getting of you guys kind of expecting the worst to kind of pop out and hurt you when right now it's you. I'm getting this sense that you guys, especially with this five of pentacles, you guys are so accustomed Maybe it's not, I was just going to say you guys are so accustomed to receiving less than what it is that you deserve, but you're almost accepting what you currently have now because it's predictable to you and because you don't want something to pop out and, and mess things up or throw you off guard or have hope again and have it all fall apart. The other thing that I'm really, that's coming through for me, and this is for romantic relationships and partnerships. This is a very specific message for the emperor and the empress. I don't know why this is coming through, but you cannot be explained in one sentence. That's the message that is coming through. What does that mean? That means that who you are, the aspects that make you you, that make you unique, that make you powerful, that make you lovable, that people are attracted to you about, it's not just one thing. There's multiple things that make you so unique and dynamic. Let's say you're this drop dead gorgeous model who collects Pokemon cards, doesn't like to travel, and lives on a lake, but doesn't like to go kayaking. It's like, what? But all of those things don't make you, that all of those things make you so unique. And there is something for everyone. There's always someone for everyone. The other thing is that some of you guys, back to this model thing, some of you guys have this, well, I'm a model, so I should always look good. I should always be on point. I should always be perfect. I should always be this. This is just an example that as I'm saying, but literally, spirit is telling me this clear message, especially with the sun card here. The sun card has shown up. This is the second time it's shown up, but for right now, I'm seeing it as the ego, and it's how other people see you especially with the empress card especially with the emperor card and especially with the two of pentacles which disappeared good oh here it is it's like i feel like some of you guys are afraid to startle someone with the aspect of your truth that is who you are some of you guys are so trying to define yourself 
and be like, okay, well, this is the defining thing or this is how someone knows me or this is how I know myself to be. So I have to continue to show up in this way because that's the only way. And the thing is, is no. You are all of these different things that make you unique. Some of you, I just heard the word normal. You guys are trying to normalize who you are, how you move, what you do, when to not be normal, to be abstract, is actually amazing. It's a blessing. I'm hearing it's charming. That's a part of your charm. I'm hearing it's a charmed life, which means that it's a unique life. It's different. I'm seeing that you guys are really kind of, I don't know why, but some of you guys are learning how to embrace and showcase all these different sides of yourselves and the person, this person, the emperor and the empress here are learning to love each other and discovering each other and finding more and more things to fall in love with with that other partner the more that they share it. If you're a single, this is about showcasing again what makes you unique and not trying to hide it. I don't know why I just heard Morty. <laughs> so I don't know if that's Rick and Morty or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what that was because I don't watch that show and I don't. But it's like this, like something that could be like annoying, something that could be like, oh, that really makes me a nerd. It's literally like, just tell your truth. Tell your truth, speak your truth. Some of you guys are so concerned with how you see yourself in the mirror, meaning like how you see yourself to be. Not only physical, but this is who I am. This is If this is who I am, then this is how I should always be. Well, you're always changing. You're always evolving. Um, maybe this isn't a romantic connection or a romantic message for this pile. Maybe it could be career where it's like, or whatever the case is, it's like saying to you right now that celebrate who you are. Celebrate your uniqueness. Do not diminish it. Meanwhile, I just feel like you guys are just rocketing forward so fast. I'm so surprised that I don't see the, the Eight of Wands card here. I, I don't know why. You know, it just feels like things are moving really, really fast. You feel, I don't know if you feel this way or you're going to feel this way, but it feels like things are just going so quickly that you're like, I don't have any control over this. Yeah. Look at Chizu. Yep, this is Two of Pentacles, it's Eight of Pentacles, and it's also King of Pentacles. So this could really be connected to not only work and career, but longevity, long-lasting long commitments. That is that whether you realize it or not, this thing, this person that's coming in that is, again, oh, look who's here, King of Wands again, and also the Ace of Ace of Swords. What is being created here, what is manifesting and materializing in your life actually has the potential for long term if it's not you choosing long term it's this other thing choosing you for long term you are definitely in someone's sights right now you're definitely in someone's sights but you guys are expecting look what keeps jumping out for you you guys are expecting the two of pentacles you're expecting something to hop out catch you off guard and throw you off of your game four of wands this, is, this card is telling you you are safe. No one can take from you what we have given you. That's what the divine is saying. No one can take from you what you have built. That being said, why are you afraid? Why are you, why are you afraid? And Spirit is saying, you know, acknowledging the fact that there have been things that have jumped out. There have been things that have occurred that threw you off guard. Yeah, page of, page of swords. You guys are definitely expecting the worst. You guys are not expecting the worst. You're looking for it. You're creating it. I'm sorry. I got to say it. All right. I'm going to go into, like, this is actually what you're creating right now. Ace of Swords. No offense. This pile has a little bit of a cloud of negativity right now. And it's okay. Look, my loves. Oh, I just want to hug this group so bad. It's like, come here. Just, you're safe. You're safe. Like, that's what I want to do. Okay. Solitude. These are your oracle cards relationship you have the empress and you have the emperor but you guys are asking yourself am i ready am i ready am i ready true offering i have to read this card to you may i release the fears 
illusions, and addictions that keep me from true offering. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love. Use me for the highest. I am yours alone. That, pause it and listen to me say that again. Who is saying that to you? Who are you saying that to? Are you saying that to your relationship to God? Are you saying that your relationship to your twin flame, your better half, your soulmate partner, your life partner? Who are you saying it to? I'm seeing you guys getting off of this ride right now. Meaning like, like I just keep seeing you guys being blasted forward. You guys are getting off of this ride and believe it or not, you have the control to do that. If it was an actual roller coaster ride, you couldn't get off of it. You had to go ride it through the end. But this isn't roller coaster that we're talking about. This is life. You can unseatbelt yourself, take the thing off, step off and take a break. Go into your solitude and reconnect to this relationship energy. Imagine and go the distance. What does this mean? This means that I see two I see two things with the imagine card. I see the potential for good. The, for you guys imagining all the good that can happen, all the good that can materialize, and I'm also seeing you guys imagining all the worst, all of the bad. So spirit is really saying in for this card with this message, I'm getting a sense of don't imagine the future. Don't imagine all that can happen. Don't imagine the worst. I want you to imagine my face. Yep. Spirit is saying, don't look for the future. Don't look for the past. Even as I'm looking at this, I'm seeing these two little pits. This pit and that pit. Spirit is saying, look for my face. If this is not a relationship with God that it is that you're pursuing, talk to your, your spirit partner. Talk to your soulmate partner. Talk to your twin flame. Imagine their face. And just imagine them resting. Imagine them calm. Imagine them centered. Imagine you guys connected. That's all you have to focus on right now. <laughs> if this is connected to career, imagine the outcome. Don't imagine the good or the bad or all that. Don't imagine that. Think about, in your solitude, think about the end result think about where it is that you're going think about you getting to that you being in that destination not you getting there you being in that destination look at this emotional sensitivity and indigo this is what i'm saying my pile of threes and maybe spirit will one day switch it up but my pile of threes are always my heightened sensitive beings they're the ones who are just rapid you know so rapidly evolving with the divine, with God, they need to take additional time, usually more than others, to spend time with God, to spend time with themselves, their higher selves. Even with the go the distance card, it's not about you sprinting there because it's just going to be, oh my God, see what I'm saying? Everything's happening so fast. The cheetah, I think, is the fastest land animal. That's, you guys are just like, whoa, we gotta slow down. Like, I feel you. Okay, I don't normally do this, but I want to ask for advice because I feel like Spirit is saying the, the point of these cards jumping out for this pile is to give confirmation to this pile, to say that we do know that things are moving quickly for you guys, so definitely. This is really standing out to me. I am yours alone. Some of you guys are really having a hard time trusting. I mean, that's it. You're just having a really hard time trusting right now. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing the word bend, don't break. Um, when I looked at the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is a card of, you know, give a little here because you have to. Give a little here. I feel like some of you guys are so used to people giving to you and you feel like it's out of obligation. Um, and not because they want to, it's because they're trying to get something out of it. And that's where this defense is coming up. So people are trying to take from you for a good time or they pick up on your energy and they abuse it. Um, three of wands, king of swords, three of cups and five of cups. So let's, I'm going to talk about these in a minute, but I want to talk, I, spirit is still talking about trying to give confirmation and clarity. We, we know, hold on a second. Can you give this pile advice? Well, that was easy. Wow. 
So four of wands is back up again and says, you have to tell yourself every day you are safe. You are safe. Knight of Pentacles, we, you, we're, we're building. We're building for you. We're building. You just take it step by step by step by step. If it ever becomes too much or overwhelming, then you can do that. You could, you could pause it. You could put it on break. You can pump the brakes. Nothing that is not for you, like every, nothing that is for you will pass you. And you have to factor in your comfort right now. Knight of Swords reversed and also Five of Pentacles. Stop expecting the worst to happen. Stop expecting the worst to occur just because it's happened in the past. You're expecting something to just hop out and get you. And Spirit is trying to tell you the advice is you are safe. If there is something that does not fit with you, does, does that doesn't resonate with you, a pre, like something that is presenting itself that you don't want to pick up, you didn't ask for it, you didn't want it, you don't have to say yes to it. I don't care how good it may look. It, I don't care who is giving it to you. You don't have to say yes to anything you don't want. I don't care. I don't care. Spirit is saying prioritize your feelings right now. Prioritize how things make you feel. Don't take anything out of obligation. You're not obligated to anything or anyone right now. If you need to rest, if you need to not be available, if you need to be off the radar, if you need to be disconnected, if you need to tell someone to slow it down, then that's exactly what you, you can say right now. Some of some people are going to be like, well, that just... I had to make sure my incense wasn't burning an orchid plant. Some of you guys are like, well, Jess, I've never done that before. Well, learn. You're going to learn. <laughs> mm-mm. Especially with five of cups here and three of cups right now, you guys know that there's certain things and certain people that that know you're a good good energy. They know you're good vibes, and knowing that, they will still try and take from you and make you feel obligated. Like you, no, that's where this level of discernment comes through. This power, this powerful force comes through. But also at the same time, I don't see you guys expecting that from your partnerships I feel like you're maybe you need to hear that because you're expecting it to happen right now but if you set the tone then you can actually go the distance but my sensitivity my sensitives and my empaths and my indigos you guys are the ones that have to work mostly on your boundaries do you see how she's taking time out for herself because she's emotionally sensitive you don't have to apologize for that that's your truth that's that's real that's for your comfort don't you get to feel comfortable too yes you do all right, my love, so I hope that message resonates. I hope that makes sense. If it does, let me know down in the comments. But also, make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. If you need to see me or book a reading, I'm more than happy to, um, to take care of you. If you visit the links in my description box, visit me at bahadilife.com or you can send me an email at info at bahadilife. And until then, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>